Namaste beautiful yogis. Good morning. Another what I eat in a day vlog. I just came back from the farmer's market and I will show you what I got. But how I started my day. Lemon water and this is um, almond milk cocoa. So it's just almond milk, cocoa and hazelnut stevia with some of this chipotle powder. Cocoa and chipotle are just so good. And I know that something came at the door for me. So I'm going to share that with you. It's my order from Amazon. There it is. I'll grab it and I open it for you. All right, so the boxes are open. Hey, Sophie, what did we get? What did we get, baby? I got some excited stuff and that's why I'm sharing it with you. So um, I got my new prenatal vitamins. It's uh, it's vegan Deva and it's just one pill a day. So it's in a way easier than my previous one and it has really high zinc content which is great for vegans. It's just geared towards vegans. And it has a few other things like cinnamon, bioflavonoids, apple pectin, uh, betaine, alpha alpha chamomile, rose hips, etc. I got this. It's so light. Uh, it's phytoceramides. It's uh, used for skin regeneration. People say that they see uh, uh, their skin uh, looking more youthful, but I'm getting it for after because it helps with uh, the belly, the, the belly skin. You want to smell it? Yeah, you want to check it out? Hey, are you being playful? Are you being playful? And um, what else did I get? Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I got rose hip oil and it comes with a little dropper bottle. That's again for, for the belly, but I do put it on my uh, face as well. Rose hip is the most recommended oil for stretch marks and also for pigmentation if you're using it on your face and because this company has a coupon for it has a, a, a special if you buy rose hip then if you buy another one there it was uh, like three dollars off or something i'll try to link it uh, i got the second one because it was a good price argan oil so i got those two from amazon they're organic organic argan and organic rose hip and I'll use them just for my face and hair. And I got something very interesting. Aeropress. That's for making coffee, uh, but through uh, pressure. Uh, with um, Basically with uh, pressure instead of... Basically it's a little different than uh, French press. It's kind of... Supposedly it's, it extracts a lot more of the flavor and less of the acid and it's considered the best way to make coffee and i figured i'll just i'll just experiment with that if you want me to <laughs> to give you a review if it's worth it let me know but that's how i'm gonna be making coffee tomorrow i'm having a small cup of coffee every so often um i stopped the coffee during the first trimester completely because i couldn't stand it and it didn't seem like the right thing but now it seems okay in small quantities and I got a um, little burr like a like a grinding burr uh, manual burr I for some reason I wanted to get a manual one maybe because it doesn't make any noise I don't know but I'm happy with it because it's small all right second box obviously I do some shopping online um, I got raw Icelandic wakame Wakame seaweed. I've been craving seaweed. It's really uh, rich in nutrients. I try to get not the Japanese one because of the Fukushima. So I got Icelandic one. I hope it's okay. It's raw, wild harvested kelp. I love kelp. I literally can go through bags of kelp. Really love it. Um, I got some Sophie's them and we eat them. It's, I don't know if it fo it's focusing. Let's see. It's a uh, green organic lentils. I think it's very bright here. Um, I, I got two bags of green lentils. Those powder, really good for uh, your salty, to add saltiness to your foods. That's why I use it. And also iodine, really good for iodine. Supplements for Sophie. 
uh, taurine and L-carnitine. Those both are for Sophie. And this is for Sophie and me, Nutritional East. More beans, chickpeas, organic. I can find organic in town um, unless I drive to Whole Foods. So I figured I'll just order them. Homeopathic medication or homeopathic remedies, I should say. Let's see what that is. Something massive. Oil of oregano, I always tell you, always have it, first aid. It's good for dogs, for urinary tract infections, for infections, uh, for acne, diluted in, uh, in some other carrier oil is good for acne, jojoba maybe. So always get, that's for my partner, it's uh, flower essence. I love to get flower essences every so often. And we're continuing to learn Ooh, that's another thing for my belly. So this box has things for my belly, <laughs> things for Sophie, things for my partner. I'm kidding. There is stuff for me too. That's almond oil. I got um, just a food grade almond oil, but I'll be using it on my stomach. I'm curious to smell it because I expect it to smell nice. And I got some feminine uh, products uh, that I may have to include in a pregnancy video because uh, those can be used with aloe vera for uh, moisture moisturization and so forth and um, they're organic i only use organic feminine products and um, gluten-free garbanzo flour i'll be making some pizza crusts and some other things so i was excited for it that's it actually not too many things and a lot of essential items like the green lentils and in a little bit i'll be making celery lettuce cucumber juice but this is what i got from the farmer's market and i'm just so excited because it's the first mexican guavas of the year or at least first for me and they make the whole house smell so good not thai guavas not pineapple guavas not any other guavas Mexican guavas those are so amazing with like a creamy feeling inside um, and These are some bigger less ripe ones some cherry moyas Persimmons a lot of you write to me that because I talk about persimmons so much you get it and then it, it makes your mouth go numb They when they're ready these particular ones the heart-shaped ones. They have to feel as if It's just jelly inside it's literally like a hot water, uh, like a water balloon that's very soft. And um, that's why I carry them in, in this little trays because if you just touch them, they will pop and they would leak the gel. They have to be ripe all the way through to the stem. And that's when they're ready. I actually can't wait to have them. That's a daikon radish. They're really good. Daikon radish is so good cooked. And I have some more, a lot more fruit, but this is what I got at the farmer's market today and I cannot wait. <laughs> To have it and that's the inside of the mexican guavas they're just the best thing ever and a lot of you say that they try the persimmons and it just didn't it they didn't taste right the hard ones i have to show you how they look on the inside it's pretty you probably don't expect this you see how soft it is and i'm doing this with one hand that's why it's so messy inside it's like this it's like jelly it has to be completely ripe if they're firm they're gonna taste weird but this is like jam it's beyond jam so i'm um, preparing my food here what we have is um my partner is having um that's an indian masala dish with my cheese the cheese that i prepared it's spread on lavash on like thin bread but this cheese is so good so that's his combination and I'm going to make my raw soup right now. So I'm craving lettuce juice. I know that's a weird thing to say, but I love two ingredient juices like celery, lemon, cucumber, lemon or uh, lettuce, lemon. I find lettuce to be milder than the other grains and very delicious. So here are my grains. Some celery in there. I do have a cucumber. We'll see. Maybe I'll add it. And that's going to be my juice. Mm. 
look how dark it is it's I don't know if you can tell but it's dark dark green and I squeeze some Spanish limes in some water and I will mix it in and even mixing it in you see it didn't dilute the crazy color cheers and for dinner I made a raw celery kind of like a deep soup raw celery and zucchini some tofu and almonds and that's the soup and I will have some dolls with it and some sodium free hot pepper sauce I really find it that I feel really good if I avoid sodium especially now and some chipotle that's my cheese it's like the best cream it's like the best cream cheese ever pine nuts um, uh, pepitas which is uh, pumpkin seeds uh, agar agar some tofu some nutritional yeast garlic and some other things but it's so good and some i actually had it in brine for a little bit and then i blended it so it really tastes like cream cheese and for the soup there is some bell peppers in it for um it's either dip or a soup however you want to look at it for the chunky part and I will slice up some cauliflower in it for more crunches and some cooked eggplant and I will probably have some um, some other snacks for after dinner but I will be watching we're watching a really cool movie so I probably won't have time to shoot it uh, and the movie is I think it's an old Disney movie maybe older like a couple years older brave but it's so cool I can't wait to finish it so I'll finish my dinner and start watching my movie and I might have some popcorn or something for dinner but that's my main dinner. Hey Sophie and movie time. Pistachios. <laughs>